Maturinin makamı
Kim Sultan? Rehber. Rehber. Rehber. Rehber. Rehber. Rehber. تام كان محمد ابن محمد ابن محمود ابو منصور المدرودي ولد في سنه 8 8 170 من الميلاد و توفي في سنه 944 عاش يعني 74 سنه انجليزي يفهم İngilizce ile git tercüme yapalım. İngilizce ile git tercüme yapalım. Eğer yaparsınız. Ha, bu şey oldu, oldu. Sen Türkçe yaparsın. Türkçe anlat, Türkçe. Geldi mi? İmam Madrudi Hazretlerinin makbarası damız. Yani bu makbara 2000'inci yılda kuruldu. Evet, biz... Ama Hazretlerinin türbesindeyiz. 2000'inci senede yaptırıldı. This graveyard was built in 2000 year of Imam Maturidi. Imam Maturidi, Hazratları Samarkand'da tuğulgan, Samarkand'da yaşayan, Samarkand'da vafat etken. Imam Maturidi was born in Samarkand, he was living in Samarkand, in dead in Samarkand. Samarkand'da tuğulgan, Samarkand'da vafat etken. 870-ci ile tuğulup, 944 ile vafat etken. So he was born in 870, 970-944. He was born in 870 year and passed away in 1940. Imam Madrudi Hazretleri, Imam Azam Abu Hanifa'nın 4. avlat şagirdlerinden buradılar. Yani 4 ustazlar Imam Azam gibi bağırıp yetişenler. Imam Madrudi is the number 4 of the generation of Imam Azam. Bitti bitti normalde tercih edilir mi? Ustazlar Abu Nasr Aleyhi Yazı. So one of his teachers is Abu Nasr Niyazi. Abu Nasr al-Iyazi. Abu Nasr al-Iyazi. Şimdi ustazı al-Gürcani. His teacher of this teacher is al-Gürcani. Gürcani. Gürcani. Gürcani. Şimdi ustazı Muhammed Şeybani. And his teacher is Muhammed Şeybani. Muhammed Şeybani, İmam Azam Abu Hanifa'dan ders alıyor. And this imam was started from Imam Abu Hanifa. İmam Azam ile İmam Madrudi'nin 200 yıl farkları var, tuğul yazılarla. So, the difference between İmam Azam and İmam Madrudi is 200 years only. İmam Madrudi zamanı da Muazazila, Havariş deyken türlü her kıl okumlar, firkalar rövazlanken, hatta o davlatlar hem onlarını kollap kuvvetleken, ahli sünnet zayıflaşken davr idi. 
So it was period uh, when in Muhammad Zaji was living here, so it was a very difficult period for Ahli Sunnah by Jama because uh, very different like coverage on other uh, like sex was hardly influencing on government, on, on people and their uh, minds. Imam Matrudi Hazratları Oşa Davur Turli Okumlarga Fırkalarga Raddiye Bildirge Ve Ahli Sunnatını Hak Yol Ekenlikini İlmi İsbatla Kutarga So Imam Matrudi was against all this a, a different kind of sex He uh, basing on ilm only, on knowledge He uh, proved uh, the difference uh, from their sex And to prove their uh, correct uh, way of uh, Akidah İmam Mazrudi Hazretleri indi bu yılda bir neçe kitablar yazıyorlar, maşgul kitablardan Tabiratul Kur'an kitabları bu. So he writing lots of books about Akida. In one of the of these books is the Tabiratul Kur'an. Bu kitap Kur'an'ya yazılgan tafsirdir. So it's a tafsir about Kur'an. İkinci maşgul kitabları Kitab-ı Tawhid. And second his very famous book is Kitab-ı Tawhid. Yani Allah'ın yetke yazığını, ekerliğini anlatı uçuk kitap. So the book which explains about Tawfid that Allah is the only one. Bundan taşkar yana bir neçe kitaplar yazgen, İmam Matrudi Hazretleri indi hem akli hem nakli dalilleri bulan öşe zaman okumlarına raddiyeler verip Ahl-i Sünnat'ı yukarıya götürgen insanlar aldı. So he put lots of books and thanks to his knowledge and his proof about basing on Qur'an and lots of hadith. So he stopped all these strange texts and he created the correct way and based on this his knowledge. So lots of people get out of this text and clear their akhidah. Şimdi İmam Matrudi Hazretleri öte kemdarın insan bulup fakat Samarkand'da yaşayanlar dedik hayatları doğrusu kısa çıkartmışlar. Bu şu Samarkand'da yaşayan, bohbonlik bulan, trikçilik bulan, ekin zorlar, ekkenler öte bir kemdarın insan bulanlar. So being so famous as a person, he didn't want to show off himself. He was working as a usual person in a garden. He was a kind of gardener and being a very well-known uh, alim and he was uh, he was born in Samarkand he was living in Samarkand and passed away in Samarkand so he was living in Israel somewhere um, other place in the Imam Matrudi Hazratları uz vasiyatlar gen muafiq bana şu yerge kumul gen bu yer cüda maşgul qabristan kitablan gen so he also asked when he passed away to keep his graveyard in this place so it was a quite good place این بو کامپسون گه جدا کپلاب اهل سنت نه حمایت میگن عالم‌دار شهیدان دفن کردن. And the reason of it because lots of alims and shahids who were protecting the correct aqida of اهل سنت جمع were passed away and it was a kind of graveyard here all around. بیست تا گه مشهور عالم‌دار دارن امام مادرودی بودند. Hidayah kitabının muhallefi Furhanuddin Marğumani hem şu yerde. So, the other well-known alim, Furhanuddin Marğumani, who also put down the book Hidayah. Hidayah. Also, his graveyard was somewhere here. Yani, Tanbihul Gafilin kitabının muhallefi Fakih Abu Leys Samarkandi hem şu yerde takım edir. So, Tadihul Kitab, Tadihul Kitab, Tanbihul Ghafili Tanbihul Ghafili It's another book which was put down by another alim His name is Abu Leis As-Samarqandi Abu Leis As-Samarqandi Baya şu yoksa Abu Hakim As-Samarqandi Bir neyse oğlumla Bizde tanıklı ve tanıklı bulmayan Bizde köplak oğlumla So it's only just a little part of those alims who he explained us, but actually there were lots of alims who tried to protect our Ahl-i Sunnah Jamaa to be in the correct Aqidah. On the 13th century, the Qabristan of the Hudud was a big part of the Qabristan of the Hudud. So this around area, it was a big, huge graveyard. I mean, it was about the 13th century, it was about 20 hectares. Graveyard only here. Bu şey, yığılma gittarlı olumlar kabristanının kok markazı Kurbatul Muhammedin deyip atarken. 
So, and people call this uh, graveyard Turbatul Muhammadi. Bu Turbatul Muhammadi'nde fakat Muhammad isimli müştehid oğlumlar, şayıflar dağın etirken. So it was uh, in the center of this, it was the Turbat al-Muhammad in the place uh, where a, a lot of alim who had named uh, Muhammad uh, and those who pro- uh, were alims and protected uh, Akhida. Turbat al-Muhammad in the place Imam Mahdudi Kuyrgallar da so, bu kişinin atraflardan fakat Muhammad isimlidirler Kuyrgan, bu kişinin hem isimleri Muhammad Kuyrgan. So actually uh, uh, Imam Mahdudi, uh, one of the name was Muhammad. And because his, his grave was here, so only around him there were graveyards only on those alim who get the name Muhammad. So uh, this uh, graveyard was uh, famous for uh, alim who protected Aqidah, who protected uh, Aqlis Sunna Jama'ah on a uh, ilm level. And even during uh, Samir Lan, Amir Timur, uh, this uh, graveyard was protected by uh, Amir, and he, he built uh, this uh, around this uh, mosque. Hatta çor rasiyası ve sebe tuzumu davrlar gece saklanıp gelgen kabristan, yin kuşa davrının siyasatı tüfeyli karavsız kalıp, giyimçelik sebe tuzumu davrda bu ahalıge, bu yücay kuruşluk üçün, So this graveyard was protected by government only during Soviet Union period. So uh, communist government decided to took some places of this uh, uh, land to give it to for buildings of uh, living places. Motrudi'nin kabırları 2000'inci yılda yana anıqlanıp şu yerden topuldu. So uh, because of this policy which started in 1947, so uh, there were around neighborhood, so people uh, lived in a houses here. It was started in 1947 and it was going until 2000. And when the Uzbekistan became independent, so people started to look for the real grave of Imam Motrudi, so they This means all this living place and build this uh, graveyard here. So this Makbara was uh, uh, opened in 2017th uh, November and all this uh, all the neighborhood were dismissed from here. So when all these uh, neighborhood uh, living places were moved, uh, dismissed, so uh, people found lots of uh, graver stones in the land. So and if we read these stones, it's a clear confirmation that it was a graveyard around here, and they, uh, one of these places is uh, clearly Imam Matrudi's uh, graveyard. So, Until now, it's what I can say, and if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me.
Steven. Hemen arabaya binin çabuk. Toprağı. Thank you.